Welcome back to the Fifth Star Rundown, celebrating Valentine's Day weekend by doing what we do best, bringing Hollywood home on a budget for you and your Valentine. If you can believe it, this is actually a redo of a review which I've already filmed but haven't posted. Why? Because technical malfunctions. The autofocus lens on the Sony Handycam here, which I've been using for many years, is broken. And it blurred out a key portion of the 30 minute meal section in this January, February 2016 dual month issue of Wait Away Every Day, which I purchased for 99 cents. It was either walk around it or just leave it out. Walk around it? Well, I would have to insert a ragtime version of Robin Thicke's blurred lines or just cut it out. Cut that portion out. And I don't want to leave anything out in regards to 30 minute meals. I mean, that's Wait So Ways Emmy Award winning forte. So I decided to redo this from the ground up. After all, if there's anyone I know who's the head of Dubro of putting love in a bowl, it's Wait So Way. And you darn well know, dare I say, that she's one of the realest real housewives in daytime television. In addition to bringing on the comfort food with three of about 33 hearty soups, stews, and suppers highlighted here on the cover, we also have a special section on how to make 2016 your happiest year yet. As happy as it could have been for the many couples who endured the ordeal that was 2016. A tear-out booklet that you can use so that you shop once and eat healthy all week. And to end this video, we have sweet chocolate truffles made in three steps, a master recipe for chocolate truffles, and then flavorful hybrids from which to work with. And on that note, we start by highlighting America's sweethearts. Meet four pairs of candy pros who prove that sugarcoating your relationship may be the best thing you can do for it. In summation, these are semi-celebrity couples who also double as confectionary extraordinaires. Mr. and Mrs. Charlie Bucket 2.0, that would be Kelly, the Candyman JB, and his wife Glenn of the Sweet Shop NYC.com. The Frida and Diego of Confectionery, they are Hasty Torres and Jack Torres of Mr. Chocolate. We have the George and the Mall of Candy, they are Sugarfeeder.com's Rosie O'Neill and Josh Resnick. And finally, the John and Yoko of Coco, that would be Jail and Dan Radigan. FrenchBroadChocolates.com Each with a V-Day pick that you can order online to satiate your Valentine's sweet tooth. So that's some little water of mouth right there. Moving on to a romantic highlight from Rachel and John's vow renewal ceremony in celebration of their 10th wedding anniversary that took place at the Tuscan Villa. John recited a poem for Rachel entitled All the Whiskey in Heaven written by Charles Bernstein. Here's a sample. No, I'll never stop loving you, not till my heart beats its last. And even then in my words and my songs, I will love you all over again. The romanticism like that, it's no wonder why Rachel's gonna continue being one of the realest real housewives in daytime TV. Bravo had better stay away from her, or there's gonna be some dire consequences between them and I. Here's a customized Academy Awards voting pool from every day, featuring one of their crushes, Bradley Cooper, highlighting the film Bunt, playing Seth Adam Jones, a fallen phenom out to earn a third Michelin star and make you through to the process. Other awarding contenders include The Birth of Sake, Cooking Up a Tribute, Steak Revolution, so three documentaries. And finally, another scripted narrative, Love the Coopers, starring Diane Keaton, John Goodman, and Melissa Tomei, among others. It takes place as a family is preparing for an epic, Holiday Feast. I don't need to tell you why I'm highlighting this feature. Why? Because in the beginning of March, I'm going to be filming my 6th annual Odyssey to the Oscars special, and guess what? Rachel Way is going to be a part of it. Or at least, her everyday magazine is. How about this fun, unlikely combination, but one that is highly effective? I mean, we're talking a brilliantly unexpected high-low combo of glamorous champagne and down-home fried chicken. This recipe is courtesy of Chef Sarah Simmons of Birds and Bubbles in New York City. We also have here other spirit and food uh, recommendations and pairings, including one I want to highlight here from a girl, Alex Guanacelli of Butter in New York City, and of course of Chopped Iron Chef and Alex's Day Off. A lobster roll, 
paired with a Pops Blue Ribbon. It's one of those rare combinations where the sweet, briny lobster elevates the PBR and makes it the most refreshing combo. Note, beer must be very cold and sipped right out of the can. That's for optimum, maximum enjoyment. Who fancies a cheap date? It's definitely gonna be a cheap date, just the way I like it. I know I do. And hey, here's to your saw. Our dates between you and I are near always platonic, but always, always on the cheap. So, we're gonna highlight some cheap dinner dates. Nothing says I love you like a home-cooked meal. No one else is spoon worthy? A dinner for two for less than ten bucks, and no waiting for a table. I would disregard the prices that accompany all five of the dishes in here because, well, inflation can make or break a couple. But anyway, if you can keep that in mind, then I definitely would consider butternut squash and brown butter linguine, flounder with coconut ginger rice and mango salsa, seared pork with polenta, braised red cabbage and pears, brie and apricot stuffed chicken with sautéed radishes, or a red wine braised short rib recipe with rusty potatoes in an attempt to get lots of compliments. And then some. Oh, and by the way, just a quick tip. Before you begin any cooking, make sure to wash your hands. And if any fruits, vegetables, or leeks need washing beforehand, then please do so. You are, after all, the Emma Watson of avoiding certain poisonous toxins. And while you might end up being self-partnered, if any of the key dates in here don't work out, at least it's a whole lot better than a trip to the ER alone. So, for some reinforcement, we have here some vegetarian and or vegan 30-minute meals. Ten of them. This time of year, eating healthy is at the top of everyone's resolutions list. I'm an all-things-in-moderation person, well, wait till this. So here are ten hearty, meat-free meals full of grains, veggies, and greens to start 2016 off right. Natural three annals. Stir-fry veggies with ginger almond pesto. Stewed greens with creamy, cheesy polenta, mushroom minstra. Broccolini and ricotta pasta, which is a five-ingredient meal. La Claire Robinson. Spinocli soup, that is a spinach and broccoli soup, by the way. Porcini pilaf with spinach and pine nuts. Black bean and kale tortilla soup. Garlic non flatbed pizzas with mushrooms. And open faced baked cheese sandwiches with pickled onions and a kale carrot salad. And now we come to a sweet ending, which I said many times before will hopefully equal a sweeter beginning. Made with love. This year, spoil your valentine with decadent homemade chocolate truffles. And even Jock Torres would bless over. They're ridiculously simple. The basic recipe has just two ingredients, so you can give a gift that comes from your heart instead of the store. So here we have at the top left corner a page, well... Page 82. A master recipe for which chocolate truffles and a few flavorful hybrids from which to work with. So, chocolate tea, maple bacon crunch, spiced white chocolate, mocha mexicano, spumoni, the name alone sounds like a 1970s Woodstock swami. <laughs> Pineapple rum, fig and lavender, and finally, fresh raspberry. Once again, in an attempt to continue to highlight all the celeb factors, or at least a good few of them, in my Wait Away magazines, we have here Eva Longoria in her kitchen cameo. The celebrity features in here to close out these magazines range from kitchen cameos, where Wait Away recommends that this based upon the celebs kitchen street cred, or celebs just showing us what's in their fridges to having no celebrity features in the last page at all. I'm highlighting Eva Longoria's kitchen cameo and Rachel's recommendation for a drunken risotto with spinach and speck. Or you can use bacon in place of speck, which she did and still was delicious. Because, well, it's a tease, since Eva Longoria is quite a tease. Yes, I have Eva's kitchen. That's her first cookbook. You probably saw the haul featuring that cookbook, and I will review it soon, because I think it's a... Uh, Muy excelente way to pack up the winter doldrums, to add some spice to those chilly nights. 
After all, there is no opportune time like Valentine's Day to become the weights away of ensuring a successful V-Day is never more than 30 minutes away. You are now Mr. and Mrs. Peterson. The second. Now you may kiss the bride. <laughs> that was the real one. Bye. Bye. Have fun on your honeymoon. Thanks for watching TSR. Now to see another awesome review like this one, click here. If you want to become a Hollywood bargain hunter, click here to subscribe. And I'll catch you on the thrift side.